how do you go about finding commission work or do just people find you or, I mean, oh, getting yeah. commission work is a big thing that people always tell me and I, I'm always curious how they find it. Yeah, I don't do a lot of them. It would oh. just be like something small, like, you know, if I was, oh, street fairs, I used to do a lot of street fairs, setting up street fairs and people would be like, can you paint my dog? You know, or like something yeah. just, you know, little things like that. But I don't, I don't really like necessarily market myself as a, you know, a commissioning paint. Like I'm not, I'm not there yet, you know? Okay. So and I feel like it would take over a certain amount of my time too. And my style is, it's not really for everyone. You know, I think people who commission paintings kind of want something more realistic looking, yeah. you know? So but for the most part, you know, but my friends will commission me, my parents, my, my brother, my stepsister, you know, commission me painting. So like I had that. And then, the, one of the last things that I did is I started tattooing. So I was like, okay, I'm not making any, like a whole lot of money, but people do, do make a living off of tattooing. Uh -huh. So I took an apprenticeship and tattooed for almost three years, but I also kept my job. So I only tattooed like part time and you can make decent money tattooing. Yeah. So that's, when, it just doesn't, you don't usually get healthcare or anything like that. And you sometimes have to you know, you have to share your commissions with the shop and rent your booth and everything like that. So, but it, it is, at least it's like, a, a, you know, you're, there's a certain number of tattoos that you can do and you can charge X amount, you know? So right. it's not guaranteed, but at least when you do get a tattoo, you're going to get paid for it. So. And how did you get that idea? I mean, that's, I, I get the concept of like, yes, it is something that you would get paid for doing artwork, but like, that's, that's one of those jumps where it's like, I, it doesn't necessarily come right off the top of your head. Like, how did you go like, I'm going to go into tattooing. Is it something that you admired for a while? Do you have tattoos? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. A lot of and, um, yeah. So I just figured it was pretty easy. <laughs> I don't know. Like besides the fact that it has to be perfect, you know, right. that's what I'm it's saying. Very... It's terrifying to me. <laughs> like I would, I would be, you can't throw away canvas and get a new one when you're doing that one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. Exactly. And when you're starting out, they always give you these pieces that are like totally unforgiving. Like as you know, when people start doing sleeves and like these big tattoos, yeah. there's so many pieces you can make a mess and like, you know, kind of screw it up and cover it up. But like, if they're like, I want an infinity sign. Yeah. Like if you accidentally veer off on that, it's like, it's over. Everybody knows you messed it up, right. you know? And, so, and you did it for three years. Done. Yeah. How long does an apprenticeship take? The, yeah, so that was probably about a year of it Okay, was the apprenticeship. And so at that point, I, I got probably the most of my hours on like Friday the 13th. We used to run these special $13 tattoos and all they would just be like, okay, all the real tattoo artists go home and the apprentices will do the $13 tattoos. And no so, way. <laughs> yeah. so we would be tattooing till like three o'clock in the morning because everybody comes out for $13 tattoos and they'll line up down the street. And so I got a lot of, a lot of practice in on that. That's nuts. I, I, <laughs> I don't know how to react to that. <laughs> That's so interesting. <laughs>